in the last video we built a virtual reality game using chat GPT and in this video we're going to continue with that same game so if you want to watch that the link is in the description where it says previous video Beam left a suggestion and said can you change the enemies to goblins so we went to the asset store found this nice free goblin right it's free so we imported it to the project and we basically copied everything we did on that enemy and just copied and pasted it onto the goblin and we definitely had some issues oh hell no <laughs> oh hell he's floating in midair i don't know why ah okay dude chill <laughs> it's not killing him what the hell this is so trippy in vr it's like a get his ass out my face but after some playing around we got it working okay this is actually really cool <laughs> this is cool as shit you guys need Oh, I just hit something. What did I hit? Oh, my speaker. Dank Meme Queen asked if we can add grass to this game. Say less. So we went to the asset store. We found some grass. And I'm terrible at art and textures. So uh, we kind of messed it up a little bit. <laughs> grass. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Whoa. Whoa, I forgot the goblins. Uh, uh, here. Yeah. Make sure to leave your suggestions for the next episode. So swords are cool, but I wanted a gun. I want I want pium pioms. So we asked ChatGPT to write a script for us to be able to shoot a weapon. Write me a script for it's okay. I can't even read it in time. It's going too quick. <laughs> script gun now the issue that we had is i forgot to tell chat gpt that we're using the xr toolkit the thing that we use for vr it actually just gave us a normal keyboard input i'm just saying i'm using xr toolkit with vr so i don't think input dot get button down will work you're right for vr with the xr tool unity kit You'll need to use an input system. Here's an updated version of the XR input system. Oh, it's even using the XR interaction toolkit. So we made one of the worst guns you've ever seen in your life in a video game, probably. <laughs> We copy and pasted the code. We made a bullet prefab so we can fire the bullet. We also set up an attach point, meaning when we actually grab the gun, it's going to attach it in the right place so we're not holding it at like a weird angle. That's better. Okay, let's copy this. Copy component. We're gonna unpause, paste the component values. Now, if we grab the gun, should be one in the correct place. Nice, that'll do. And we got it to shoot. Pathetically. Does it shoot though, ready? Let's find out. Oh my, it does. It does. They're, little, they're pathetic little bullets, but it does shoot. So with some more speed, that bullet looked more like a bullet than it's ever bulleted before. Gun. Okay. I mean, it's one bullet, so, <laughs> and it's just killing multiple of them. It's going through them. Oh, hello. But I mean, it is killing them. We just need to set up a similar script that doesn't do a hundred damage and same system. Nice. And we need to put a fire rate on that because otherwise we can just go D -d 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 using the same script and you add a fire rate you can use a float variable wow it's fully like yeah <laughs> do you know who i am can you please uh, obviously pathetic human so oh someone just subscribed probably a perfect time to ask you to did you know that 96.2 percent of everybody who watched the last video is not subscribed if you don't subscribe then little jimmy will cry for eternity Aww. and you don't want little jimmy to cry do you nope. so subscribe today it's completely free <laughs> Little Jimmy will go from this to this if you subscribe. See? Someone just subscribed. Look how happy. Look how happy little Jimmy is. I'm sure I'm sure this person will subscribe, won't you? Please subscribe. Next, we wanted to add a high score. In the last episode, we added a score system. So every time we kill an enemy, 
it counts. Well, now we're really gonna start putting ChatGPT to its limits. So we took the current score script that we have because it's attached to our enemy spawner. It's using the amount of enemies that are spawning and dying as a reference to how much score we're getting. So we copied and pasted the code from that into ChatGPT. And just at the top, we asked it using this, can you adapt this script to give us a high score? And we had some issues. It wouldn't save the high score. So we had to put the player's health in to ChatGPT. Now it's keeping a memory of what we've previously asked it. So by us adding the player's health script, we've basically said, look, when our player dies, we still want the high score to stay. So it now has two scripts my health and the enemy spawner script okay guys you need to see this so i put here is my unity script for the enemy spawner that displays the score and high score the only problem is when i die it's not saving the game and then i posted the script it's just strange how you can have a full-on conversation with chat gpt so now that it has two scripts for reference and it knows exactly what we want to do it flipping worked four five okay so then if we die i need to die yeah, it does. Okay. Now, I was actually getting annoyed during this testing. Every time I wanted to test a tiny feature, a wave of enemies will come running at me like it's World War Z. So I wanted to create a cube that when we grab said cube, it starts the spawner. So we made a cube, no code required. Pretty simple. We just made it so that when we grab it, the enemy spawner becomes visible. But for some reason, it ended up spawning a puppy. Oh, ow. Puppy, ow, he bit my arm. I'm being sm- <laughs> Oh, yeah. He just saw himself in the camera. Oh, he's slapping me in the face. So I did actually do a couple of things to upgrade the game and the general feel of it. And I thought I was recording it all, but I wasn't. I only recorded some of it. So I'm just going to talk you through what I upgraded. So I upgraded the teleporter. So now when you hold down one of the triggers, you point where you want to go, let go of the trigger and you'll teleport there. So that beam is no longer there all the time. And here's the code. Wow. I also made the grabbing feel way better. When you grab stuff, your hand would be half inside it or the physics would push our player away and it was just a really clunky system and before we were using the beams to pick stuff up which is kind of a cool feature but we were using it for teleporting as well so every time we wanted to grab something we would teleport it just turned off the beam grabbing and made it so if we physically grab an item in the world we can hold it maybe for part three i can add some sort of cool teleport beams like we see in half-life alex that would be cool but i need your suggestions for part three and the game just felt so much more smooth take a look at this we can teleport fully and we can shoot our gun so it's actually not teleporting us whenever we use our gun now so fire rate has everything it's working perfectly for a very shitty modeled gun it's really cool to see the thing you made in virtual reality like 3d so next up we wanted the enemy health ui i want a health bar for every single enemy displayed just above their head so we can see how much health they're on so we created a canvas for the enemy similar to what we did with the player one said it's a real world space made the goblin a parent of the canvas we then copied and pasted our health bar onto the new canvas and on the goblin we copied our player's health bar ui script we pasted it into chat gpt and said can you turn this current script instead of the player's health ui turn it into the enemy's health ui and this is what it did enemy's health ui i think it should all be the same but it should just replace it with enemy i know we're being very lazy <laughs> but it's fine that's what that's what we're here to do isn't that the whole point of chat gpt to be lazier it's basically just changed the word player for the word enemy so we copied and pasted the code and this is what happened if the enemy I'm, I'm moving my hands in vr for you if the enemy has a health bar amazing if we shoot it and that health bar goes down even better i don't think it will but yolo okay it has an enemy bar oh my god it worked oh my god it works <laughs> it actually works and it turns with the enemy. So they we can now see the enemy's health. Oh, why isn't he dying? Okay. Oh yeah, this is awesome. 
Right, we're gonna take it to 10 high score now to celebrate. Boom. Cool. That is awesome. <laughs> Thanks, ChatGPT. Thank you. Crazy, man. How? How does it do this? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, but I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I will be doing a part three, so leave your suggestions in the comment section and down below. I do hope you have an amazing day. I appreciate you. You're the best. Much love, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.